Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with Bizonte. The thing is, Bizonte is currently on sale and I want to give my couple of cents about this vehicle. Is it a good tank or not so good tank? What I like about it, what I hate about it and we can have a conversation so you will know do you want to spend money on this vehicle or not. All in all, honest talk fellas, this tank is not bad, okay? It is rated average in the index page, uh, but overall tank has some beauty. The best thing about the Bizonte, at least in my humble opinion, um, is the platform itself. Platform is not that bad whatsoever, right? You can bounce plenty of shots with this tank as well, which is very, very good. You can play hold down. It's pain in the ass to deal with a Bizonte whenever a Bizonte is playing hold down overall, right? It is not a bad thing whatsoever, but there is one but the dpm of this tank is far away from being ideal right we need to say that straight and we need to highlight this uh plus on top of that um uh, the gun handling is very big stinker honestly speaking fellas the gun handling of this vehicle is far away from being ideal and it's far away from being excellent i definitely want to highlight right um i just need to highlight this fellas now Whenever we are doing this recording, it is 2 in the morning because, you know, um, streaming schedule and whatnot. Uh, but I believe, fellas, this session will go very, very well and we are going to make it work. At least I want to believe so. Meanwhile, let's take our time to aim because, like I said before, the gun handling is far away from being ideal. But that just worked now. Good. Now, where the gun goes, fellas, the standard ammunition of this vehicle is 360 hit points, right? You're doing 360 damage. You are having 218 millimeters of penetration and 1,150 shell velocity. That's fine. Now, gold, 270 millimeters of penetration is not bad. Shell velocity is a bit of the stinker. It is only 270, but, you know, you cannot have it all. This is not the problem. I think penetration is actually okay of this tank. I do not feel like the penetration is the big, biggest uh, weakness of this tank because I just simply don't feel like it's the case. It's DPM, fellas. Okay, let's go. Very, very nice. Excellent. Good, fellas. We are doing a good job so far. Excellent. Now, we want to fully reload. Whenever we are going to fully reload, we are going to simply spank him out of this world, right? That's what we want to do. That's okay, even though he's tracking us, it doesn't really change absolutely anything. We are feeling all right. Okay, excellent. And he is going back to the garage. Very good. Not bad start whatsoever, right? In this kind of situation, this tank definitely doesn't feel bad or by any shape or any form. Don't you think so? Uh, this tank does everything what you would like a heavy tank to do, right? We went in front. We bounced a shot or two. Uh, we are not getting penetrated by the high explosives, which is all the time nice and all the time welcome. And I think everything is looking relatively all right here. So that is a positive thing. Meanwhile, this guy is dead. Excellent. And we could get one more shot from the Mr. Oi. Nice. Good. I am feeling very, very, very great with this performance. And we did absolutely everything properly. Now, obviously, I don't really think I need to tell you that this game was not the most equal one. And... Uh, uh, we haven't um, gotten the best score overall, but that is fine, fellas. And the main reason why is it fine uh, is because this game was extremely quick. We were playing against the lower tier tanks as well, and this is as good as we are going to get. That's fine. Let's see the score. Okay, hip hip hooray, the first battle, 2.8 thousand damage, 300 assisting damage, we pushed in front as much as we physically and possibly could, we got 1000 base experience, we got 2.8 thousand damage, it is not bad whatsoever, and we got 81,000 profits. I am feeling pretty good about this, and I think we did everything uh, uh, properly where this game goes, considering that this battle was 4 minutes and it was pretty much over 3.5 minutes in, right? 
That is okay. This is the first game. And also one more thing, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to see one or another um, tank in action, as an example, currently we have Borat on sale. And I cannot remake videos every single time whenever tank is on sale. I want to show you how to um, do the things very, very easily and how you can find everything. I believe you are very, very well aware of uh, index page. So either you can um, use the search function, right? This is quite easy to use. Or you can simply click on the tech tree, right? You can go to the France as an example. Since board is on sale, you can find the premium tank and you are going to see whenever it is going to, uh, whenever we completed the video with the tank. And as you can see with the board, we have plenty of videos and last video was on the April this year. So uh, there is no reason to remake it. You know, there is other tanks with which I haven't played in a long time. That's why, um, um, that's why we um, are making decisions like this. Anyways, enough of rambling. Let's go for round number two. Okay, for round number two, we have Ruinberg Standard Battle. Now, Bizonte can play cooldown pretty well, right? And even though we are facing against the higher tier opponents, it is not that big of the deal. So what we are going to do, we are going to take the typical position in the golf one. This should work fine and this should work well. And we will try to play cooldown to the best of our abilities, right? That's all we need to do in this game. Obviously, there would be alternative options to go through the field, but I feel like uh, um, with my DPM, I might get overrunned by the medium tanks and it's not what I want to do. Obviously, another alternative option would be to join this phase one, but I am kind of afraid if no one will take this position or this position, we are going to have in the deep trouble because enemies can peek sideways and then, oh, oh, we have a bit of the trouble, right? Okay, let's see. Who is crossing through the middle of the field? And who is raising the hand to get punished for his mistakes? Let's see. Hmm. So far, it doesn't look great, to be fair with you, because Chrysler can actually side scrap here uh, to penetrate face. It is quite a big pain in the ass. It is not so simple. I know I could be aggressive and I could take this corner. And in fact, you know what? I very well might not do so. Okay, the main reason why am I not going to play aggressively like this is because this face is making a bit of pressure. If he is smart, he will say, nope. I'm not going to play here if he is smart, right? And in the same time, I would love to see him going to the same position like he went before just to, just to be sure I can cross like so. Although this T and Hush mixed our cards a bit. That is okay. Beautiful shot right into Coppola. That is fine. We have all time in the world of tanks. Now two seconds left, but you know what? I'm going for it. And this is where the gun handling is kind of a stinker for um, the uh, Bizonte side. Yes, it is quite simple to play with this tank whenever you are sitting fully hold down and whenever you just do not give a, a flying F about anything, right? But not every game is like this. In some games, you need to have a bit of the distance between you and enemy. And if it happened to be the case, yeah, this is where this tank uh, is going to be a bit of the lackluster, at least in my humble opinion. And plus on top of that, some people are going with this tank while having turbo on, right? Which is obviously a um, pretty good option if you care about the speed and if you like to be fast. But overall, in the same time, um, you are going to sacrifice the gun handling even more, you know? So this is important thing to highlight. Now, I believe all we need to do at this point is to um, make a bit of the pressure like this. Well, by saying a bit of the pressure, put the W to the maximum and just try to reach the remaining hit points. You see, in the same time when the games are not the most equal ones, if you haven't gotten a chance to get into position um, quickly or let's say you just haven't gotten a position to farm, this is a bit of the struggle. But once again, it is not a bad tank, fellas. I really want to highlight this. It is not a bad tank. It is not disgusting tank. It's not unplayable tank. It is just not the case. It is kind of, yeah, okay. Situational tank, right? 
that's what I want to highlight with all of this. And I do not want to give empty promises uh, where this thing goes that, oh my bananas, it's auto loader. You are going to hit every single shot left, right and center. You are going to have the best time. No. It is not the case, uh, you are not going to penetrate every single shot with this tank. In fact, you are not going to hit every single shot as well. Uh, but in certain situations, it can work very, very well. And this is a perfect highlight of all of this. You might think, but skill, this is a bad performance. You have 1.3 thousand damage only, or 1.5 thousand damage only. Exactly, the damage is not that great in this game, but luckily for us, we managed to farm quite a bit of the assisting damage in the end of the game. That is that is very fair and that is very good. I am feeling great with this performance considering how the game went. Right? Good. Can we get one more? This is the question. Obviously, our team is going in front like crazy mother truckers and they're saying, mine, 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 mine. That's all we can hear from our team side. <laughs> Madness. Two games, fellas. Two games uh, below five minutes in a row. But this is in a way nighttime world of tanks, you know, everything is just uh, blitz games. Either you are winning extremely quickly or either you are losing extremely quickly and there is nothing too much uh, what you can do about this. But you know what, this is in a way very good educational thing, right? Just to show the gun of this tank is far away from being ideal, even though we are going with a um, gun setup on the, of this tank, right? Which is ventilation stabilizer and improved aiming unit as well anyways in the end of the day 2000 damage 3000 assisting damage solid 5000 combined we definitely cannot complain about this we finished at first by experience and fifth by the damage unfortunately the gun did not treat it that uh, as that well although i probably could have uh, fired quite some more gold and we have 89,000 uh, credits profit. That is okay. Let's go for round number three. And the last but not least, we have a Sand River encounter battle. This actually could be very, very, very good game for us if we are going to play this properly. So the first things first, there is a couple of the uh, positions which we can take instantly. One position would be somewhere over there, hold down, or other position would be in the middle. I prefer to go in the middle because I feel like I am the most flexible in this kind of uh, play, right? I can farm people who are playing like this. I can farm someone who is sniping from the back. I can pick like this and farm people who are playing over there. This is this is um, the best play, at least in my humble opinion, right? Or at least what I think about it. So let's see. Hmm. Hi. Tracking shot. Another shot. Beautiful. We have our 700 and we are feeling uh, pretty okay with all of this. Now, Mr. Borat sitting over there and now we need to make a decision. Do we want to farm people who are playing somewhere around this area or do we want to go up? This is very, very important thing. Okay, enemy Borat is pretty much... Uh, uh, he got the free ticket to the garage. There is absolutely nothing what he can change about this and he can accept it. That's pretty much only one fate which this gentleman uh, has and which the gentleman can do. Meanwhile, another shot to the Yoch tank. Very, very good. And let's try to finish him off. He's dead. He's in the garage. We are feeling pretty great about this. Now, we want to see how many guys are sitting here. And to be fair with you, there is not that many of the hit points, right? Ooh, hi. The gun strikes again. That is okay. We are just accepting this. And now, while we are on the reload, what I want to do, I want to kind of spot guys who are sitting here in the back. Because I'm pretty sure they have plenty of the sniper schnitzels. There is Scorpion, there is Super Hellcat. Um, so I have a feeling those gentlemen can simply sit here. Speaking of the Scorpion, how are you doing this fine day? Yeah, this is where the gun handling strikes of this tank, you see? You see, this is far away from being ideal. And in the same time, whenever you have a bad DPM and gun handling is misbehaving, this is a bit of the problem. 
Now Udis is trying to escape for his life for obvious reasons. We cannot blame him for, uh, for it. In fact, this is a good decision. We are trying to aim as much as we can and we are hitting him in the face. Good. And all we need to do at this point, we need to make a hardcore pressure. Wow. I have a feeling, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, that this video can be one of the most, <laughs> one of the shortest videos overall in a very long time. As you can see, all of the games are kind of one gated and there is not much what I can change about this all and all obviously we keep making pressure till the end of this game i hope i can find a decent enough angle to uh, destroy the super hellcat udes and maybe someone else who knows and i am aware of the guys who are sniping here from the back oh hi here how are you doing mr lightweight boom one into the side, very, very good play. Overall, I feel like I am definitely warmed up and I feel like I am definitely playing all right with this tank. Uh, I do not feel like... Um Wow, I am I am surprised how bad this tank is behaving, right? Well, not how bad this tank is behaving, but how uh, bad the games are uh, this um, fine this fine night or fine day, however you would call this. It is it is absolutely madness. The tank overall felt uh, pretty good. I cannot say it was unplayable by any shape or any form, uh, but I do not really. Um, it's not for my style to feel good, if I can say so, right? I just feel like this tank is... If this tank would have better DPM, it would be OP. If this tank would have better gun handling, probably it would be okay, OP. Now it's somewhere between 3 and 4 in my opinion. It's definitely not epic as a vehicle, you know? At least whenever I am looking into this. Although, don't worry, the time will come whenever we are going to raid the heavy tanks and we are going to see everything. Maybe I will raise this tank a notch. Who knows? Anyways, all and all, solid 3000 damage, 800 assisting damage. I cannot complain about this performance by any shape or any form right um team score um we are top by experience we are top by the damage right we made eighty-two thousand credits which is absolutely amazing and i am feeling uh, uh, pretty good with this performance and all and all speaking about our play we played for 2.6 thousand damage and 1.4 thousand assisting damage which is once again not bad by any shape or any form but um you know i would i would want to do a bit more if the games would allow us to you know this is how i feel like anyways this is bizonte fellas i hope you enjoy the video i hope uh, you can see what kind of stage this game is into and ignore all of those games uh, overall in the background they are uh, i have played with those tanks on the stream and i try to figure out uh, do i want to re-raid the tank or i do not want to re-raid the tank overall uh, does the tank uh, felt good or not so much you know work on the index page anyways Thank you very much for watching. That was your daily dose of skill. And see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.